Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial is all about connecting your app to the Pars SDK. It's real easy with a few steps you are done. The first step is downloading the blank Xcode project which is I already done that. Once you open the folder you have two folders in, in it. The first one is for Objective C. The second one is for Swift. You choose the Swift. Then open the project which is I already done that too. Open the Xcode and go to app delegate. Then delete the comments because we don't need it to keep it simple and focus when uh, on connecting the app. These, uh, these two you have to delete it until here. Then these two So let's keep it clean and simple to focus on the connecting only. After you've done that, you have four functions. The first one is did, fun, uh, did finish launching with options. The second is did register for remote not notification with device token. Then the third did fail to register for remote notification with error. The fourth will be did receive not remote not notification. So let's go back to the Safari. And the second step is to set application ID and client key. As you can see, this line of code is Objective C code. So let's copy it and go to Xcode. If you paste it here in the did finish launching with options, you see that we have errors because this is Objective C. So how we can transfer this line of code to uh, uh, Swift? It's real easy. Start with uh, parse dot, uh, dot set application ID client key. Hit enter. Then copy this uh, application ID and paste it in application ID. Then copy the client key and paste it in a client key. After that, you are done. Now, Parse needs uh, frameworks. One for Parse is DK and the second is for uh, Parse, uh, for Parse F uh, Facebook and others. These are, you can download it, them from Parse website, but the others you can add them from the Xcode project. It's real easy. If you don't have them, you can go to Parse Starter Project, then the targets, scroll down. You can click on the plus button to add item. You can choose one of them and add them easily or by uh, searching them. For example, store kit click on it and add. As you can see it's now already there in the frameworks folder. It's real easy. So go back to AppDelegate. So these frameworks are really, really important because if you go, forgot one of them the parse will not will gonna work. So go back now to Safari. You have the uh, option, you uh, have the step 3 compile and run. If we command and R to compile and run, build succeeded and the application will root loaded with the view controller which is a background of white. So no, none of it has errors. So stop running and go back to Safari. After you've done that, we have to, to test the SDK with simple simple of line of code to start the uh, to save the object in the class name and creating column and add row so copy this line of code which is objective c then go back to xcode go to view controller.swift in the view did load function paste it here 
there is error errors because it's objective C now we can uh, create the transfer this line of code to Swift easily by creating variable let's call it test of type P of object equals to P of object open a parenthesis class name then the class name will be copy this class of name and paste it here then after we creating the variable test of type P of object now we can use it directly so test uh, open a square square bracket then let's uh, let's write the name of the column so foo equals to string to equal the row the row will be boo then let's save this p of object which is test in the background so let's say test dot save eventually because saving background in the latest sdk has not support this uh, this function so let's keep it save eventually save the p of object and delete this line of code and hit run to save it because when the, the view controller has been loaded this p of object has will create the class and set the column and the row and save in the parts so let's go back to safari and hit test to show the result so we have foo and boo which is great and show the message congrats you have saved your first object now we are done this is how you can connect your uh, parse SDK to your app it's real, it's, real, it's real easy just you only do it with setting the application ID and client key which is generated by parse then uh, test the SDK when you are make sure that everything set up especially the frameworks are, are all, all of them are uh, here and the frameworks so parse is running great so this is how you can connect your any application with parse SDK starting with uh, application ID and client key then the frameworks these frameworks you can add them these you can downloading them because it's not available in uh, Xcode project these are from parse uh, website but the others are in uh, Xcode you can e add them e easily then creating the class name and uh, column and row so what about the class in the parse so let's stop this and go to Safari you can go to core to see the objects we have created so these are uh, classes these are columns these are row so we have column full and created at updated at ACL ACL is all about permissions that uh, give the row permission to public or private to some users create updated add is a date date and this type is for string so it's only ex it's aspect uh, accepting all the string if you want to create a new row you can add the row easily if you write mu there is objective uh, object ID which is generated by parse to give this row an object ID if you want to add a new column it's real easy the first thing you can create is select the type there is many types such as string number boolean date file which handle photos mp3 videos and others just select the type and click uh, create the name let's create a number column let's say swift then create as you can see we have here 
so it's only uh, accepting the number so let's say 4995 then the another one will be 994 all right you have security option and deleting all columns and row and dropping the class if you want to drop all the class to crash to delete uh, to trash sorry to create a new uh, class you have two options one is importing existing uh, class or adding a new class with fresh start let's do that you have some options like you want a class like users installation rules and the product you want to choose custom you can name it swift then create then we have the class created for us with uh, four columns are standards then you can add your own with permissions you want it's real easy if you want mm, let's see um, let's add yeah you have different type of classes like users installation rules and product users which is the users you will gonna add them to register or sign in sign up things view controllers which is coming soon in uh, next sections installation will handle the unique ID from every device which is uh, which has uh, subscribe to push, not push notifications rules will be the permissions for specific uh, users and product you can sell products uh, or making an app to sell products uh, to handle shipment and other things so it's real powerful let's hit console so this is parse and and really easy and simple with powerful tools i hope that everything is clear right now if you have any question you can uh, ask me i'll be helpful as much i could so see you to the next tutorial